Hello all, welcome to Wise Beacon. Do you like eating cotton candy? Have you ever wondered who invented the cotton candy? What is cotton candy made of? Can cotton candy be in any color? Well, let's go into the video to find more about it. Say, if your dentist has ever told you that sugar is bad for your teeth, then this video might surprise you. Believe it or not, the sweet sugary treat was invented by a dentist named William Morrison. Dentist William Morrison made the first cotton candy machine in 1897 with the help of a cotton candy maker named John C. Wharton. In 1904, Morrison and Wharton took their cotton candy, which they called Fairy Floss, to the St. Louis World Fair. They sold each box for 25 cents. Though this may seem like very much, very little today, it was half the price of the ticket of the fair back then. Even though people may have thought the candy was expensive, they are willing to pay for it at that time. Morrison and Wharton sold more than 68,000 boxes of cotton candy at the fair. Well, what happens inside the cotton candy machine? Step 1. First, sugar is melted until it becomes a liquid. Step 2. The machine spins larger sugar by pushing it through the tiny holes that shape and cool the liquid. Step 3. After it cools, the sugar becomes solid again. Step 4. The operator then rotates a paper cone inside the machine, collecting thousands of tiny crystallized sugar threads. Once the puff of cotton candy is just the right size, well, it's time to eat. In case you are curious to know how cotton candy gets its signature pink and blue coloring, you may be surprised to find out that cotton candy, just like sugar, is naturally white. Pink and blue cotton candy is just colored with food dyes. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See ya.